Who's uh, JP Freeman? We're in Hooksit, New Hampshire. Just came back from uh, the Bureau of Turnpikes, and we got a story about the administrator saying he doesn't care about the state constitution. But we saw some suspicious vehicles over here. We're gonna go check it out. Carrying the camera low because if you raise it high, they usually take off before you get there. Uh, 7304 is the first one, 7305. What's going on, man? Saw you guys uh, over here having a Geneva convention. Figured I'd uh, see what's going on. Yeah? It's cool. How long you guys been on the uh, hooks it? Been a while, 12 years. 12? No shit. You guys have fun here? Not bad. No? Better than Keene, Nashville, Manchester? Never worked better than we've been That's cool. Usually I uh, like stopping when I see cops on the side of the road. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm JP Freeman from my New Hampshire Regional Cop Block. Probably want to get out. Yeah, I'll have one. Sorry. Yeah, well, and this is Ethan, New Hampshire Regional Cop Block. How you doing? No offense, I don't shake hands. I just kind of No shake hands? No. How do you go to meetings? Is that what you do in the meet town hall? Yep. Really? You pound them? I don't shake anybody's hands on the business. Why is that? Personal reason. Personal? I mean, I'll give somebody a pound, but... You could wipe your butt with your fist, too, man. Sure. If that's what you're into. Yeah. Hey, whatever. I'm gonna float yeah. your boat. They were heard on the radio, man. You guys are pretty busy. Yeah, every once in a while we get busy. You guys ever used to uh, any cop blockers or free state is messing with you at all, ever? No. You're not used to any cameras in your face, ever? No, we get cameras in our face, that's fine. Really? Yeah, that's Who around here does that? You do. What's that? You do. You need corners right now? Yeah, I know. Okay. I'm, a, I'm a whole different level from a free state. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, no, no, because if you're doing something wrong, I, I come it's, after it's, you. Yeah. You, know, you know, here's the thing, I mean, we got three gun stores in town, we know people's rights to carry, you know, we're fine with open carry, that's not an issue with us, so. Yeah, you do have three, right, you so. do have three gun stores in town. Yeah, that's, that's definitely something to be, uh... I think you actually see there's a video out there on us about uh, one of our officers dealing with someone in, in a gas station. Oh yeah? Someone called their panic because he was open carry and the officer wanted to call him. He has every right to open carry. Nothing that he's doing wrong. People are just under that that assumption that everything has to be a threat. You know? Well, you know, people come from other states that you're not, you're not able to do that. So, I mean, it's, oh, it's mass, shocking to some mass, people. You can't and, even have an empty freaking shell while you're getting a charge. Yeah. Massachusetts. Are you guys, you guys from here all your life or? Nah, I grew up in Massachusetts. Yeah. Massachusetts? Yeah. For five, you don't mind me asking? Low. Low? See? That's the fourth cop this month from, from Low. Wow. I was born in Brockton. Okay. And I was brought up in Brooklyn, so I get yeah. the worst of both accents. <laughs> yeah. Not, not fun when you're trying to get a point across. They don't take you seriously a lot. Until I get going. <laughs> I'm like a bee's nest. If you're respectful to me, I'm, I'm cool with you, but if you start running that authoritarian bullshit, you, I'm gonna be all over you. You guys have a lot of state police presence in this area too, from Troop B? Well, no, Troop B, I mean, we're at the very bottom end of it. So, I mean, they're, they're in and out of town, but we're, we're in the size of the town. They now. hawk to it too, man. Hey, Hawk 202. We have a long history with 202 Blue Knight. 
with Murdoch. Do you guys know uh, Trooper Murdoch? You see the video on me and him? No. No? You should go to New Hampshire Regional Cowboy and check it out. You'll get a nice laugh. Yeah, no. no. Matt, what about Matt Pratt? You know Matthew Pratt too? Yeah. I thought he was a chick on one of the videos. Yeah, me and a henna cop are going back and forth. Yeah. No way, he was a dude. I swear to God, he was a chick. No way, he was a fucking dude, man. Yeah, ten minute, ten minute battle on if he was a guy or a girl. But Lieutenant Comerford uh, from uh, the main office straightened that out. He said, "You gave that guy's going through hell in the truth right now." That video. Not sure. It's funny. You from here too? Manchester. Manchester? How come you're not working in that town, man? They need some, you know, stand-up police officers there. Hey, got to be got, the most got, unprofessional outfit that I've ever seen in my life. I got, I got to drop you first, so I'm taking with it. Do they, do they pick or do you pick? They, well, you do testing for each department, and then that department goes through the uh, hiring process. So. Do they have, like, the openings when you get out of the academy? Or would, uh, you would, don't go to the academy until you're hired by it. Oh, really? They get hired first. So you got to decide where you want to apply first. You apply like, once you're hired. That I did not know. I did not know. Yeah, it's not like the fire academy. You, go to fire, you can go to the fire academy on your own. They, they don't do that for the police academy. You have to be hired by a police agency first. How many full-time guys you guys have on during the day usually? For actual covers? Yeah. Right now we have eight of us working. Yeah. Well, that's not a... No, that's almost Keen. Keen's got 11. That's a lot. But oh, business time, busy time for giving me seeing this down. Do you have time. a detective division too? Any female cops? Yep. Hey, do you know anything about Jackie Parker in Pembroke? Do you know her? No? Yeah. She's like a, like, spec ops, man. It's like a deniable operation. Nobody knows about what happened to her. They won't even say your name. Uh, like what happened to Jackie Parker? I don't know nothing about it. Say it, bye. What the hell happened? Okay. Trying to find out what happened. Do you know Jackie Parker? I met her once at court, but... Oh, at the court? She's hot. I've known her since like 2005. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like I said, I've only met her once, so I don't really know her. I knew her long, 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 way before she was a police officer. But I don't know what happened with her. Her Facebook account's been deleted. None of her phones are working. I'm actually, like, genuinely concerned. I, I, I don't know what the hell happened to her. I know she had a big lawsuit against uh, Winchester Police Department for sexual harassment, which they settled, and that's when she came to Pembroke. And I was in contact with her. I saw her at... Um, the draft the Patriots uh, playoffs last year and that's the last time I've seen or heard from her. After that I know she's not a, all I heard was she wasn't a cop and now she's like nowhere to be found. Will they kill her? I don't know. I don't know. It's like a very weird situation. Or it's something stupid that she just bunked in somebody got took off. I don't know. Very strange. It's been a very long time since I've been in Hookset, so we saw you guys sitting here. And I always stop when there's Geneva conventions going on. Yeah. You know? And if I don't like you, I kind of harass them about it. Like I smell marijuana coming from the vehicle. Any drugs, alcohol in the vehicle I need to be worried about. Kind of switch it on. Try to get them to laugh or something. And then you have the other, the, the authoritarian side. They'll get out of the car. Don't come near my vehicle! Don't you dare! What's your name? Who are you? That's very rare in New Hampshire, though. I mean, for the most part, I think a lot of the cops in New Hampshire are pretty decent, unless you get a reason that. Oh, the free state has been hitting people with cameras and the new laws and the Glick case and the Wear PD case. It's obvious that you guys, you know, you think they start implementing training on video recording and being open to the public and all that stuff. And that's huge. And the perceptions of uh, the police need to change, and the, the training needs to change. Um, instead of people thinking you're all combat-oriented all the time. Um, and when you're combat-oriented, it's 
it has no business being in a small town or the street. You know, and I don't even think cities supposed to be like that. They should be going with impartiality. Every single person in, in place and treat everybody with respect, no matter what. I don't really give a crap if you had hard asses all day. I hate hearing that excuse. You don't understand. I dare with college kids all day. Blah blah blah. But then quit. If you're bothered by it that much, you need to get a new job. But you treating me like crap because five kids treated you like crap before me is not a partiality, man. You know? So that's basically, you know, I try to get that message out. And I try to let the cops know who we are. So if it's like two in the morning, we end up in the traffic stop, you're not so, you know, alerted. You guys still have that zoo up here? Zoo? Is there a zoo near here somewhere? No, it looks like a little petting zoo. No, no, you're talking, you're talking over in Candia. Yeah. Yeah, you're talking in Candia. Carbon Bear Farm. Yeah, that's, that's the what place. it's called. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I wanted to bring my kids there, and I knew, it, I knew we used to go through hooks at the goal there. It wasn't that far from Hooksit. Yeah, so yeah, it is in Candia, yeah. Candia, well, you guys have a great day. Thank you too, man. Enjoy the weather. Enjoy yeah. the day. Check out the YouTube channel. Hit a like, subscribe. We love cops being on that page. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, peace.